Hi everyone, it's Erin from AB Mixed Media. I am continuing work in my um, graph paper journal. And the only thing inspiring me or motivating me today is this leftover piece of um, painted paper from a Wanderlust class that we did. And I thought it was pretty. So I thought about how I could maybe make that a focal point or I don't know. This is my inspiration for the page. The other thing I have is in fodder school a while ago, we made a bunch of these um, tissue paper, painted tissue paper pages. I have a lot of it in black and I thought it would be cool to maybe use that because I have so much of it to use. So that's what I'm thinking of today. We'll see. Uh, so I thought it'd be neat to put just some book pages underneath this to just add another layer of depth. I guess I'm wondering, do I want to cover this whole page or have some of the graph paper shine? And I kind of think that's what I want. I like having the graph paper show. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just glue some of this stuff down. No real rhyme or reason, just to give some depth and you'll be able to see it through that tissue paper when I put it down. This is Japanese newsprint. My son was in Japan recently and brought me back a newspaper. I think it's funny how you kind of can train your family <laughs> to not throw things away or save things for you that they that you might want. They they develop an eye, I think, <laughs> for it. At least my family has. They know they'll get yelled out if something good goes in the trash. Probably enough. Oops, wrong side. Yeah, that's probably enough. I think. And then for this, I guess that's okay. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's all right. All right, I've got some Mod Podge here. Do you know, I always thought it was Mod Podge. Even after I bought this and was using it, and then I kept hearing people say Mod Podge, and I thought they were saying it wrong. <laughs> and I went and looked at my bottle, and I was like, oh, okay, it's Mod Podge, not Mod Podge. So, learn something new every day, I guess. All right. Um, I have ruined so many brushes, though, using Mod Podge or glue. I'm gonna try using my little spatula thingy and see how that goes. It might not work, but even when I put my brushes right into water after using this stuff, I, it just seems like the brush is never the same. And even gets almost too stiff to use again this way. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see. I could have probably just put it down with glue stick, but I don't think it gets as translucent when you do that. I have done it before though. The going over the top I think is gonna to be tricky without a brush and it's not sticking very well. 
I don't know. I don't know about this truck. Let's see. <laughs> All right, this needs to be dry. A little white gesso to blend in. This is something I always do. If you watch me at all, you'll see that. Okay, now I absolutely don't know what to do from here. I guess I need to get some of these colors on the page. I've got a circle stamp that I made. This is just foam on cardboard. Uh, and I think I might try to replicate that with this King's Gold. Let me get a brush here. So a lot of what I do, I guess it's called intuitive, and that is that I really don't have a plan. I usually find something in my stash that just sparks some interest on a given day, and I start playing. And I really don't go much further than that. That didn't really. Maybe it's easier to just paint some circles. I don't know. I didn't really get, maybe my coverage wasn't enough. Could be the pages too wrinkly. I didn't press down hard enough. It's still a little wet. I don't know, it could be a million things. That's kind of cool though. You're getting a lot of texture in that one. I like that better than this one, the bottom here. I wonder if I can do this one over and get some of that texture back. It's not great. It's not the end of the world, though. I think a lot of it is trusting the process. This is a hot mess right now, and you can start to feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and it looks terrible. Um, but you have to just trust that as you keep adding layers, something good is going to happen. Some magic eventually is going to appear. I don't know if this is that color. I, I think that might be a little more peachy, but I'm not sure. So I'm already starting to feel like, uh oh, I don't like this at all. But again, I think I just have to have faith that it's gonna work out. I don't know, I just don't think that peachy pink is right, but I don't think this is right either. This is pink eraser. It seems too dark. Oh, that looks better. So I took the pink eraser, added some gesso. That looks more like my color. Way more pink. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So far, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like the circles. I, I don't know what I don't like about them exactly, but...
right, I gotta tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just been kind of adding layers, um, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, so sometimes when I don't know what to do, I I just start outlining things, although this isn't for some reason working very well. I don't know if it's that Mod Podge on here. But this just sort of buys time. You kind of get into a little bit of Zen mode. Um, and you can kind of just, I don't know, think about what you're seeing. And sometimes doing this, something just will come to me. This is very different for me, this page. But that's a good thing. I just don't know if I like it. I mean, it's graphic. It's super colorful. That's kind of interesting. Uh, it is very different for me. So as I'm doing this, I'm thinking a lot about squares because that's what I'm doing. And I'm thinking about how this is basically a square. It's not quite a perfect square. So I'm kind of liking or thinking about how do I bring even more squares into this piece? juxtaposed with the circles. It could be interesting. I am seeing now, like I want this outlined like I did on this page. I'm gonna tie these together somehow. I'm gonna put this down. I'm just gonna use, first I'm gonna do some splatters. Let's get some white splatters in here. Okay, give that a dry. See this white blobby space? I don't like that. And fill that in. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I didn't like that. You can't even hardly see the white on the white, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna glue this down. I'm not gonna glue it down super tight right now. Just put a little in the middle so I can see it. But I'm thinking, cause I'm feeling like I'm gonna take my black Posca pen. So I might as well glue it down if I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna outline it. So I've glued it down. But then what I think I'm gonna do So like the whole time I'm doing this guys, I really don't know if this is gonna work or look good or what. I have no clue. But I'm also thinking I can put glue on this page 
and I can put glue on this page and I can close it <laughs> and be done with it if I hate it, right? there, It is just paper, it is just paint. The only thing you're really wasting, perhaps, and not really, is your time. And you're not even wasting your time because you're playing, you're practicing with different supplies, you're trying new techniques. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. Um, there, there's nothing to lose here, nothing. So you just have to get it out of your head that it's gotta turn out right or be perfect or what have you. It just doesn't. Ew, I don't know. I do like, uh, it's very graphic and you know, I paint a lot with my hands and I do a lot of finger painting that is very dreamy and swirly. So this is very, very, very different. I guess I can put that in, it's gonna be covered up anyway. So yeah, this is very different for me. So that's gonna go back in there, I think. I don't like this. No, that was a screw. I don't know how to fix that. Exactly. I wish I had more of these and I could put them in different spots because that solves that problem. And then I would consider putting a smaller one maybe right here, right? Something like, or yeah. Maybe like that. Or not. If I did that, I could take that piece. If I did that, I would have that piece. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's going to have to be there. Because I just hate that corner now. Somehow that's not going to work. I dug through my stash and I found more. I knew I had cut up a piece. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, I'm thinking I can put something there. Put a piece there. Right? Okay, I'm happy now. I'm happy. Let's see. Let me try and make this work now. circles here that I kind of like. I'm pretty sure that's what I used. So I'm gonna kind of try and make them kind of stand out. Can't go wrong that's too much i don't like that one i just said you can't go wrong and i did yeah that was too much there i was i didn't like how those circles were separated but it's fine okay this is so different from what i usually do i didn't save any hardly of the grid paper um you can't hardly see any of it um, i think i want more white splatters because I put it on before I put those on. So now Okay. I just noticed I have this line here and it it, is a uh, it doesn't attach to anything. So I'm going to add a square here and hope the hell I don't hate it. 
Yeah, that's better. This one you can barely see. What I'm thinking about now, I've got these in gold. I'm wondering if these should be in gold. And I'm deciding the answer is yes. So I'm gonna go through and do that. I think that was a good choice. I think that made a nice difference to have the gold. And now I've got some sentiments here and I found one that I think kind of works. And that is, it's always the small pieces that make the big picture. So we've got these small pieces that we worked with to make the big picture. So I think that fits. And I'm just gonna put that on right here. And I'm gonna call this done. If I can get that on straight. I'm gonna call it done. It's really different for me. Um, I kinda like it. Uh, I might've gone a little overboard with the circles. I don't know. Uh, it's really different. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be back again with something else. <laughs> God knows what. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. You can find me on Instagram at EB Mixed Media. It's EB underscore Mixed Media. Thanks everyone. Bye.